I'm Karen Ashton. Welcome to my first ever podcast. I'm excited and nervous all in one go. So I'm launching my series of podcasts and they will be based on aromatherapy, reflexology and lots of inspiration. This is for home users and therapists alike. And over my series, I'll be talking on different topics. uh, So any requests will greatly be received. I'll also be interviewing some people to hope they bring some inspiration to you. But for this podcast, I'll be talking about my journey as a therapist and hope it will give people the inspiration and motivation to follow their own path and goals. So, as I said, this is my first ever podcast, so please bear with me. I'm sure there will be plenty of room for improvement along the way. So, as I said, I am Karen Ashton. I am a beauty, massage and complementary therapies teacher, assessor and IQA. I am also an author of my first book, Eek! I published it, got brave in 2019, had to take some time off um, during a hip operation and gave me the time to actually finish writing my book. I'm now writing my second book and today is my first day of launching my first podcast. So hopefully there'll be a series of those to follow and who knows what else. I also run my own training academy for beauty, massage, holistic, sports, fitness and I'm co-running that with my husband who also has his own combat school and teaches classes in martial arts, namely uh, Krav Maga, kickboxing and MMA. My first book was based on aromatherapy and as is my second book, so hence the subjects I will be talking about in my podcasts. My background is accountancy, surprisingly, and also administration, office work, and that wasn't really a passion of mine. So I wanted to do something else and aromatherapy was always my interest uh, through teenage years up until now. And I used to use the aromatherapy oils at home for myself, adding drops to the bath, using it in oil burners and also drops onto hankies, pillows, all sorts of things. So had a real interest in the oils and having a bit of business kind of background and helping other people with their businesses. I was an office manager for an exhibition company and I ran their office for them and their accounts while they were out on site setting up exhibition stands gave me a really good kind of starting point for running a business and kind of gave me the inspiration to want to run my own business. So I thought if I can do it for someone else, then why not do it for myself? So my first interest, obviously being aromatherapy, I wanted to sell oils. So I wanted to set up an online shop Uh, I set up an eBay shop and my plan was to sell essential oils and aromatherapy products. So, but I wanted to learn what I was selling. So I decided to do an aromatherapy course. This led me to learn a lot more about the insight into aromatherapy, the beneficial properties of the oils and as part of the course I learned massage. Did the massage course, uh, the element of the course and decided I never wanted to massage someone and shockingly as people who know me know what I've been through um, and my career since then it was quite a shock but I'd got to where I wanted to be, I qualified in aromatherapy and it meant that I could pass on my knowledge to anyone buying my products. So I set up my online shop 
but my main goal was to sell my own products so blending oils for different ailments arthritis um, heart conditions and uh, headaches migraines insomnia all sorts of things like that so I looked into this the legalities of it all the red tape and realized actually it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be and was going to cost me quite a bit of money because to get one product at the time this would be 2003 it was going to cost me about £50 to get one product um, product tested to be able to sell off the shelf. So I didn't have any spare money at the time. I did all this on a shoestring. Every time I made a sale, I'd plough that back into buying more products um, and stock to sell. So I kind of hit a wall with that and parked that for the time being. Just carried on selling the oils individually, not as blends but also giving recommendations of which oils could work well together. So that was my starting point and I'll come back to the massage now. So I figured, okay, I'm massage trained, but I've not been using any of that skill. So I tried working on some friends to start with because that was my comfort zone and they seem to all really love the massage. So I thought, I'm not as bad at this as I thought I would be. So I decided to progress with that. And I started on the side with um, my full-time job and my young children aged two and one at the time. My mother thought I was mad in wanting to set up my own business while the kids were so young, but I had ethics and reasons for that. And I started massaging, um, so I started slowly with clients. And as my business grew, and I started gaining more clients, selling more oils. I decided that my job and all of that, and looking after my little babies was becoming a bit too much. So my bosses at the job that I had were so helpful and, um, yeah they were really supportive so they even supported me through having my children making me an office at home so I could work from home while I raised them it did result in me having a lot of work and not much maternity leave but you know I did that for a means to an end and it meant that I could also be at home with my kids as well so I kind of juggled looking after them and working in between Anyway, it did become too much, so I decided that I would drop my work down to part-time, which the my bosses were more than happy with as long as I got the work done. So that allowed me a little bit more space to grow the business. But eventually, um, my focus became too much on the business and I couldn't put as much effort into the job, so it made me feel it wasn't fair to carry on working for them so I gave up my job and went full on into the therapy business and selling my oils scary moment because obviously you're dropping from such an income to only relying on self-employed so I talk to my students all the time about this and how they feel that they should be working full on in their business but they need the income as well so the security of a job whilst you're building your business is really important and that goes for any industry or business that you're setting up. So when I started building my client base I was working from home. Uh, my husband at the time had built a summer house in the garden which more, was more like a log cabin really but I set that up as a treatment room so that I could work from home. But back then, 2003, social media wasn't as big as it is now. So I didn't really have a way of building clients other than the old fashioned advertising way. So I wrote off to many different uh, businesses like hair salons, hotels, to see if I could rent a room from them part time so that I could help with that building my client base. 
I actually received five replies and offers to rent rooms, which I was really shocked at because I wasn't expecting to hear back from any of them. So I then was in a position to actually choose which one I went for. So carefully chose a hairdressing salon. I rented a room above and there was a obviously hairdressing there, but also there was a beautician that worked there. So I figured they would have a client base that I could possibly tap into. So I worked there for about 18 months and built up a really good client base. Um, this was actually based in Swindon. I'm Biddy for Devon now, but that's where I started my business that's where my boys were born and grew up and I'll come back to that later but um yes it was in Swindon so in an area of Swindon about 20 minutes drive from where I lived I built up a good client base and then actually realized that I was away from home more and didn't have as much quality time with my children so I kind of put the feelers out to my clients to see if they would um, come to me at home if I was to go back to working from home. And I would say about 80% of them said yes. So I figured, right, this is a good thing. So I went back to working in my cabin. I was much happier doing that because I could work it again around the kids. My eldest was four, so he was just about to start school and my youngest who was three he was going to nursery so my client hours my business hours worked around their school in a nursery and then in the evenings when my husband got home so that was a lot better work life balance and I enjoyed it far more but building my client base if you imagine now trying to build your business with no social media I built up kind of networking through the mums of the school and the nursery so that's how I built my client base and there was a local publication that would come out monthly and I paid £25 a month to have an advert in there every month that was it so all of my clients came through that avenue and word of mouth so it took a while but I built myself up to a full-time client base eventually But in 2007, I decided I wanted to train to be a further education teacher. So I spent um, six months learning that at Sirencester College. And then I set up my own training school. So that's 2007, Holistic Therapies Training was born. So I then developed my training, uh, offering courses to people and keeping my client base going at the same time. Uh, It was the year that my husband and I did split up. So I then became single mum to two boys of age five and six. So again, my whole ethics right from the start was to build a business that would work around my children and bring financial security so I could raise them on my own and that's what it did but in 2011 we had the harebrain idea to relocate back to Biddyford which is where I was born my eldest son had calculated um, how we could move and how he would still keep in touch with his dad and his friends and his other family And it was him at the age of 10 that gave me the inspiration that if he could calculate it and work it out, then I need to be brave and do the same thing. My youngest son was a little bit apprehensive, but I knew that if he was, if we were okay and my eldest son was okay, then he would be okay too, as long as he was, you know, safe and felt secure. That was my main aim. So we relocated back to Devon, or I relocated back to Devon. The boys had grown up in Swindon for the first nine, ten years of their life. And I relocated the business. So having the training school allowed me to actually work term time whilst they were at school and then take holidays off and to earn the money still so I could earn an income. 
I took on some self-employed tutors so that they could teach as well in different areas and that's why I kept an income going in Swindon with other tutors so that I could move down to Devon and still be earning money. So I could be sat on a beach in North Devon with my kids and then realised that I had a tutor teaching for me and earning me some money that day and that felt really good. So that was a real inspiration for me uh, to develop the business further. Now today it's now Holistic Therapies Training Academy and my husband now works with me. His background is martial arts going to actually interview him in one of my podcasts hopefully give people some inspiration of how he got his mindset his original background was semi-pro kickboxing and so I want to kind of bring that kind of spur into the podcasts as well anyway I feel like I have waffled on about myself but there is still more to tell but I'm going to leave it there at the moment. I hope that if whatever industry, whatever job you have, that this might give you a little bit of insight and inspiration. And one of my favourite quotes is, feel the fear and do it anyway, uh, and then worry about it afterwards. So, uh, no, I'm only joking. Um, But yeah, I think you have to get brave and you have to do these things um, and yeah, just enjoy it. Uh, If you're in a job that you hate, there's always other options, there's always something else, but be positive and look at things from a different angle. Uh, There's always different, there's always a plan B as I call it. Thank you for listening. For more information, you can go to my website, karenashtonauthor.co.uk. My email address is karenashtonauthor at gmail.com or please follow me on Facebook page, Karen Ashton Author and Instagram, Karen Ashton Author. See you soon.